Christine M. Penudro, your science teacher. Have fun and enjoy learning things around you because it's science time! How are you today? I hope all of you are safe, healthy, and doing great during this pandemic time. Buckle up and we're going to travel to our new adventures in inferring conditions to make a light bulb up. So children, are you ready? Before we start our new lesson, we will first have a game called Match Me Game. This game is very easy to play. All you have to do is to match all the missing of each given teacher by choosing the letter of the correct answer. Alright, I guess you are all ready. So, let's start! For our first picture, can you match the missing piece? Is it A or B? You have 5 seconds to answer. Start! Answer is letter A. The picture shows it is a battery. Alright, good guess. For our second picture, can you guess the missing piece? Is it A or B? Alright, you have five seconds to answer. Start. Answer is letter. The picture shows in number two is a light bulb. Amazing kid. Good job. For our third picture, can you guess the missing piece? Is it A or B? All right, you have five seconds to answer. Start. Answer is letter A. The picture shows in number 3 is a wire. Alright. For our last picture, can you guess the missing piece? Is it A or B? You have 5 seconds to answer. Start. Answer in number 4 is letter B. The picture in number 4 shows a switch. Great job! Now that we're done playing matching game, let's take a look at the all pictures again and let's rename them. Are you ready? Alright, the first picture is a dry cell or what we call a battery. Second is a light bulb. Next is the wire. And lastly is a switch. Did you know that we can use all of these materials to create a new useful thing? Do you have any idea what is it? Can you guess it children? Very good children, we can make these materials into incredible invention of our own electrical An electric circuit is a conducting path through which an electric current can flow. A circuit must provide a closed path for the current to circulate around. When the electrons or negative charge pass through the light bulb, they lose some of their energy. Then the conductor heats up that results to lighting up the bulb in our electric circuit. Can you guess what are the four parts of our electric circuit? You're correct! The four parts of our electric circuit are 
First, a source or a battery. Second, a light bulb. Third, a wire. And lastly, a switch. Amazing, right? Now let's take a look at the picture setup A. Look closely in setup A. A wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such circuit is called closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing the electricity to flow through it. Remember that electricity flows from the negative to the positive terminal of the gyrocell. Now let's go to setup B. In setup B, the electricity does not flow in this kind of circuit because there is a gap or no complete Path from one end of the circuit to the other end. Remember that an open circuit is an incomplete path of electricity. We can say that the light bulb will not work when the switch is off because there is a break in the path and this opens the circuit. So what makes an electric circuit close or open? It is because the switches are switch that we can see around our home. It is an electrical component that makes the circuit of the light in our home open or close. It is easy to remember that in an open circuit, there is no current flow due to the following result. Like a broken wire or it can be a blown fuse. After we've learned about electric circuit, let us know how important each of the parts in our electric circuit. Are you ready? Let's go! Alright children, I have a question for you. Why do you think it is important to have a dry cell or battery in our electric circuit? Mm. You're correct! A battery or a dry cell is a source of electricity in our circuit or charges moving through the wire. Good job! How about the bulb? It is a nipple connected to the bulb which becomes lighted. How about the switch and fuse? The switch and fuse controls the flow of the charges in our electric circuit. When it's on, the path becomes complete and we have a closed circuit. When the switch is off, there is a break in the path, and this opens the circuit. The last one is, the wire is the charges that moves around the circuit. It is important to remember that every day we use electricity using electrical circuit in all of our appliances. Electricity flows in light bulbs, motors, wires, flashlights, and other devices to make it work. We also have to remember that an electricity can flow easily through metals called conductors. Good job children for being a keen observer. You are near to become a future scientist. Now let's play another game. This game is called, Is it a fact or a bluff? Alright, are you ready? Let's go! Direction Write facts if the statement is correct or bluff if not. Question number one Every day, we use electricity in our homes to power up lights, electric fans, televisions, computers, and more. Is it a fact? Or a bluff? You have 5 seconds to answer. Ready? Start! Yeah! Question number 2. An open 
open circuit is an incomplete path of electricity. Is it a fact or a bluff? Alright, you have 5 seconds to answer. Ready, start! playing our game, let us now have our activity. But before that, let us read a letter invitation from Casa Creation.
each electric current and flow. Second, there are four parts of electric circuit, which are a dry cell or a battery, a light bulb, a wire, and a switch. Third, when the switch is on, the flow of electricity is complete. It is called a closed circuit. Fourth, and when the switch is off, there is a break or a gap in the flow of electricity that makes the circuit open. Fifth, an electricity can flow easily in metals called conductors. The last one, remember that an electricity is very useful and important in our daily lives. It makes our appliances and gadgets at home works.